We are back for the finale of Challenge 40 with the robots. We're playing a best hand match point challenge. And we are on the last two boards. And look at this hand. Wow. A solid 20 count with the solid six card diamond suit. I'm going to open two no. I know this is super weird, but I don't know what else I want to do. I don't think I'm too strong. Uh, sorry. I don't think I'm strong enough to open two clubs and rebid two no, even though it's close. But th those are my two options. I'm not going to open a diamond and then rebid three diamonds, right? That's not really strong enough. And I'm not going to open a diamond and fake jump shift to three clubs. I think it's easier when you're semi balanced like this, 6322, to just keep it in a no trump range. And here, uh, partners just bidding statement. I'm going to deny a four card major. And boom, we're going to play three no. Uh, I don't mind anytime, even if I'm a little light in major suit stoppers, I. I have such a good source of tricks that I'm usually going to be able to come out okay in these situations, especially when partner table is a reasonable hand like this. So this is a nice start. We may have entry problems as usual. It appears like that's our that's our uh, broken record, right? We now have like you know our spades. We have six diamonds. That's going to get us up to seven. So it looks like we have nine tricks, right? We have one in the bank. Uh, diamonds, let's just make sure the diamonds are breaking here. Yeah, there we go. So we're going to we're gonna take all the diamonds. So that is five more tricks and two aces. We want to maximize more of this. So the question is, uh, how do we do that? Well, what are we going to pitch from dummy uh, during our diamond run? Can we run diamonds is really the big question. And the answer is, yeah, we can run diamonds because we can pitch clubs from dummy um, pretty much exclusively. We can pitch clubs in one heart from that dummy over there. Notice uh, we kind of have the same club cards in our hand that we do in dummy, right? The Jack-10-9 are, because we own them, are basically exactly the same as the 8 and the 7. So here, because I can't get to dummy easily, in fact, I have no entry to dummy, I'm just going to play a bunch of diamonds and throw away cards that I'm not going to need in one hand, and that's the, the club suit over here. And I'm going to throw the 9, the 10, and I'm going to get out of the way of my hand. And there's a heart, heart, heart. We like that. And notice I'm just kind of making it easy for myself. This time I'm going to pitch a heart. Nah, maybe not. Yeah, I'll pitch a heart. I want to be able to exit that hand. And now I'm just going to play ace of hearts and a low heart. And it's solved for us. All right. So now what do they do? They return a club. We just take a low guess here. Boom. Now we might have to guess at the end what to pitch from dummy. I think lefty has a spade. They led spades originally. I wasn't really counting though. Thank goodness. <laughs> so there we we have no choice, right? We can't we can't really do anything other than run our diamonds and then let them in at some point. Although I suppose we could have just played ace of hearts, low heart originally and tried to guess it right away. But why is that maybe not the best, right? What what did we get in return for running our diamonds on this end, everybody? If we play, if, if originally when we get in with the spade in our hand, we just play ace of hearts heart, you know, it, we're guessing basically. We don't know what to do. Whereas when we run diamonds, they have pitched quite a few cards for us, right? So we're at least making it a little more of an educated guess. And as you saw, when we led low to the heart there, the jack just popped right up. So we kind of know what's going on. All right, and maybe I should have counted a little more closely on that one. It's always, you know, you're it, it's hilarious as a bridge player. You're all, you're counting like the hands where you, you it really doesn't make a huge difference sometimes. And then other times when you're not counting, you get to like trick 11, you're like, oh man, I wish I had counted this hand. <laughs> so, so try to count every hand as, as I say, but uh, as you see, sometimes you can, your mind can just wander a little bit and you're not really paying as close attention as you should be, uh, which is a common bridge leak and it, it will get better as you play. <laughs> uh, one diamond to you folks, what are you doing? Make your bid with this hand. I hope you passed. There's no bid here. If partner, op oh, sorry, if if opponent opened a heart, you would double, right? This is not a you know, heart opening bid. This is a diamond, and I promise you, if you choose to double, your partner will bid hearts like 98% of the time, just because that's the way bridge works. Uh, now it goes to spade, two diamonds. We still don't have a bid, and we still don't have a bid. Now we're defending three diamonds. This is a fun one. Um, we could lead the ace of spades, which is a possibility here. Um, I'm worried about maybe setting up tricks and dummy, but it's hard to resist leading an ace. I, I did earlier on the first or second board of this whole series. Uh, because the opponents had led a, led a suit, I kind of stayed away from it. But here, maybe the king of clubs is 
not unreasonable as well. But I, I don't know. I can't, I can't not lead an ace king combination twice in one session. So here, let's do this. And yeah, I'm gonna switch to the king of clubs. Right. I'm just gonna start developing my tricks if I have them here. And now we know we at least are getting in with a spade if Declare has one. Although, how many diamonds do they have here? Let's see. Ooh, they only had six diamonds to our right. Interesting. So it looks like they're trying to set up some tricks in that dummy. My question, where's the jack of clubs? <laughs> All right, so we know righty here has six diamonds, right? They've been him three times, and they, they have to have at least six, and they have at most that now with the, the numbers we've seen. Uh, we also know they started with two spades. So what is going on here, huh? Interesting. It's hard to know what to do in the club suit here, right? We don't want to lead a spade right now because even if partner has the queen, what's going to happen is if it's going to go spade, low, queen, rough, and now the king of hearts is still an entry in dummy, right? So we cannot let that happen. Uh, I'm tempted to just exit a diamond here. But now if right-hand opponent does have the queen of spades, now it's going to go... That's weird, though. Partner would have uh, signaled high-low if the if they only had two spades. So partner has the queen of spades. All right, so here I, I think I can safely exit a diamond. Uh, to, in order to set up spades, Declare is going to have to cross to dummy um, with a heart to do that. And then even if they set it up, they won't be able to get back there. Right. So hopefully they don't have two entries. King, yeah, that's what we want. Mm, hopefully partner did not need to play that jack of hearts. That would be pretty gross. And notice, I'm just worried about giving up a club. If right-hand opponent has a jack of clubs, I, I might have lost a trick there, but <laughs> they just have hearts over there. There we go. All right, and I think they have uh, the last trick. Yep. Interesting hand. They were just crazy distribution over there. Ten cards in those red suits. Whoa, we tied with them. I think, I guess we could have taken one more trick against three diamonds. That was a fast result there. That kind of came lightning fast. So, uh, yeah, first board was a chop. Uh, we were up then. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, the number four, we kind of knew we when we opened a, a no trump, we might get a little too high here. Or, no, excuse me, that was the unusual two no trump bid. That was a zero because we went down two and they played three hearts the other direction and they were able to go plus. Ooh, it looks like they took one extra trick in four spades and I think that was the one we talked about. I think that's the one if they take the club finesse, they get to pitch a heart and they do make 12 tricks. So again, a leak on our game on number seven, I think. And this last one, let's take a peek. So uh, give me a second, folks. Let's jump over to these results screen and see what happened at the other table. So let's jump in and, and let's see this board right here. Uh, and th there's our, our unusual two no trumpet. Uh, I mean, it, it's certainly a better bid when the king of spades is somewhere else and in the club suit specifically would be nice. Uh, but as you can guess at the other table, they just, wow, they passed with our hand. Interesting, they didn't even want to come in at the two level. And then it just went something, something. They played three hearts and they went down. So here we went minus at our table and they went plus at their table by just choosing to defend instead. Um, this was the board I was also questioning. We opened a no trump. What did the robot do here? Let's see. Uh, they opened a no trump also. Okay, good. So this is a ro this is a robot standard no trump as well. Okay. Uh, this next one, I think we knew exactly what we did wrong here. Um, or excuse me, this was uh, this was our table. We, we won this board. Uh, so I guess we made one extra trick than they did here, and we flopped it on this next one. So this is the one I'm, I'm worried about. I'm pretty sure the robot took a club finesse. That's uh, As I go to next deal instead of next card, that's nice. Oh, they got a club lead. Interesting. So they were able to win the ace of clubs, and then they drew Trump, played a heart to the ace, and then, wow, okay, they didn't take a club finesse. So I guess Lefty pitched the Queen of Clubs or tried to cash it. Whoa. Okay. Interesting. And now they played the Nine of Hearts to the King. I see. And then they just ended up having a heart trick at the end. So very odd line of play that the robot took. I thought for sure they had taken a finesse here. But as it turns out, they ended up setting up their heart. And really, it looks like they were pseudo-squeezing their left-hand opponent, right? 
lefty just was pitching hearts and then it gets down to this spot where they end up just hang, hanging on to all their diamonds when they don't need to okay whatever we'll we'll take that loss and uh that is perfectly fine i'm glad they didn't take the club finesse but uh we could have been successful there had we done that this one i thought was going to be a little better but it's okay same here um we were in three now what did the robot open their hand let's see uh, let's get to the other table there they oh okay so they open a diamond and went a heart three now all right so that's how the robot did it and here they took an extra trick and uh, uh, they overcalled one spade with our hand that's interesting uh and they led the king of clubs another interesting choice all right so here after that it went diamond 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 and then where did they boot this here And now they just have uh, 10 tricks. Yep. My goodness. Okay. Well, we will accept that, <laughs> unfortunately. In fact, uh, here, yeah, they, they just end up losing a heart at the end here, basically. And they take their 10. And at our table, uh, I think possibly, you know, we could have done slightly better here had I not. Uh, let's take a look. Our opening lead choice was the same, right? Ace of spades. And then there was the club. And here we go. That. And there it was, right? Eight of spades. If we pop up with the queen there, we do not set up that card in the dummy, right? You see that, folks? So we have the long spade here, right? So when it goes low spade, all right, it goes 10 and we're forced to win the king. And now that queen can be roughed out, right? And we kind of knew that during the defense, right? But at this point, uh, after this happens, I think there's really not much we can do, right? They just end up playing some diamonds and then the hearts just are dividing for them. So at that point, our partner has kind of jettisoned enough for us to only get two tricks. So we'll take a tie, right? Match points is tough with the robot for sure. And uh, they did a really good job on this one, right? Notice that your imps, you get like a little, maybe one, two, three, sometimes bigger amounts. Here, it's kind of just you're winning, you're losing, or you're tying, right? It's 100, zero, or 50. So a zero isn't as punitive. You're only playing as one other player. And 100 isn't as great as it usually is. So here, 50, we'll take it. All right, we'll try to do better the next time. And thanks a lot for joining, folks. Our 40th challenge in the books. We'll start with 41 next week. And uh, maybe we'll have a celebration for our 50th, which will be uh, about 10 weeks from now. So I'll see you for all of those folks. And don't forget bridgelesson.com for all of the new lessons, the complete guides that are out there that have been dropping all summer. And also some brand new stuff on the schedule for the fall. So I'll see you either right back here or all the good stuff happening at bridgelesson.com, people. See you soon.